Today I will be introducing you to the Metabo Mag 50. As the name will indicate, it's an electromagnetic drill with a maximum capacity of 50 millimeters. Let's look at the scope of delivery. The machine is supplied in an ammo box, also with the instruction manual. Five meters of cable. Machine is applied with the soft guard. Allen wrench. Two locating pins. Drift key. And the ratchet strap. Let's look at the features and benefits of the machine. The machine has a 1200 watt variable speed motor, two speed mechanical gearbox, more staple number two spindle, and a 19 millimeter weld on footing. The maximum drilling capacity of the machine will be 50 millimeters with broad cutters, 20 millimeters with spiral drill bits. The shaft guard goes onto the machine on the front from the bottom protecting the end user against any flying debris. The maximum travel of the machine will be 160 millimeters, which is controlled by the handles in front. There's also a built-in coolant tank, which is autonomous. There's a forward switch and a reverse switch for tapping features and your stop switch. The machine also has a integrated light switch which is in the front, illuminating your workpiece. And the magnet is controlled by a separate switch as well. The magnet has got a holding force of 12,250 newtons. And should you have an unintentional power outage while you are drilling in a horizontal plane, we supply you with the ratchet strap to prevent the machine from falling to the ground. To complete the range of magnetic pressures, Metabo also offers the MAG32 as well as the B32 M100 magnetic machines. We're back in the workshop where we're going to demonstrate the MAG50. But before we do that, in an earlier shot you saw the smaller brother being the MAG32 with a 32mm broach cutting capacity. Over here you now see the biggest in the Metabo MAG drill range. The B32 with M100 magnet, which is a maximum broach cutting capacity of 100 millimeter into steel. The drill is a three speed mechanical gearbox with a Morse taper three. Back to this MAG50, we're going to do three demos. The one is in a horizontal application, the next will be in a vertical application, and the third, the hole we drilled in the vertical application, we will tap using this MAG50. A few things I'm going to point out before we get going with the demonstration. Please, this guard always use because it protects you from the cutting and shavings coming off the machine. For this demonstration, we're going to leave it off so you can see the performance of the machine. The next thing I'm going to point out is this orange ratchet strap, which we went through as scope of delivery. This machine currently is not switched on, so it's held on purely with a ratchet strap. And to show you, should you have power failure, the machine will not fall and get damaged. Lastly, your cutting fluid is fed to the cutting tip via gravity. So in this application, you would have to raise the bottle above the machine so that you get your cutting fluid to the cutter. Right, I think now I'm going to hand over to our demonstrator to show you the performance of this machine. Switching on a magnet and a light.
switching on the magnet. Listening the two Allen keys. Removing the slug a bit. Then we're going to fit our tap. and just tightening the two allen keys. And now we're going to tap the hole we just drilled. Those were our three demos. As you can see, it tapped this piece of steel very effectively. Some top tips are when using a tap in steel thicker than this, it is recommended to use tapping fluid as that'll extend the life of your tap. Some other top tips are never use your mag base on a powder coated or painted surface as the pulling power of the magnet is inadequate. Also, Clean your surfaces, don't have oily surfaces or steel shavings, as again, the magnet will not pull effectively on your workpiece. Then, having two pieces of metal will not work, as the pulling power of the magnet will not draw to the second plate, the bottom plate, which means when drilling or tapping, the bottom plate will move, which will cause your slug a bit or tap to snap. Last top tip would be never weld on the same steel plate as you're using a mag base, as when you're striking the arc of your welder, you will guaranteed blow the electromagnetic base. I hope you enjoyed these demos. Should you have any further queries or inquiries, please feel free to contact Metabo South Africa or one of our nearest Metabo dealers.